What's up everybody? This is Danny from Predator Bass Fishing. I got a $50 box from Tackle Warehouse that I'm going to open up for you today. Let's get to it. He's gonna catch some toads You're watching Predator Bass fishing with Danny Rhodes Whether he's ripping lips Or pulling box and net He's doing everything under the sun And you can catch it all here On Predator Bass fishing Hey guys, welcome back uh, Kind of excited to open up this box here um, I ordered, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine items from Tackle Warehouse, and it was $55.54. And the bait that I'm most excited about is uh, a big swim bait I got. And I've been watching a lot of videos on Huddleston's and, uh, you know, big swim baits catching big fish. And I'm kind of excited, you know, it's uh, Indiana, here where I am, it's like, you look at a big swim bait and you kind of think, man, that's not gonna catch any fish, you know? It, you know, it's a, the one I got is a pretty big one, so um, you just kind of think, is a big fish gonna hit that? But you know, use a stick bait. You know, growing up, we used a devil horse that was that long and you catch a fish half the size of it. So, you know, I think anything can happen. And some of the videos I've watched, I watch Tactical Bassin a lot and those guys are great. And they say, throw these big swim baits out and um, you're going to find out how big the fish you are, how big the fish there are in your pond when you cast this out, because they're going to come and check it out and see what's going on. And so I'm excited. Um, I'm going to show that I'm going to save that one for last. Um, so we got nine items. Uh, three of them are repeats. Another one's kind of a repeat too. Um, Let's see, let's start out with these uh, spinner baits here first. They're uh, Boyd Ducket spinner baits, and they didn't stay in the package real good. They're kind of falling down, and um, but I got two of these with two gold blades, and I took one out of the package so you can kind of see it, see it better, but I got two of these. Um, these were on sale for $4.99, but I've, I've been looking for I had a spinnerbait that I lost. It was a Strike King Premier spinnerbait, and it was very similar to this giant gold blade on it. And actually, the blade wasn't that giant. I took a blade off of another spinnerbait and uh, put on it. It was from a Lucky Strike uh, Jimmy Houston edition, and the blade was huge. It probably a. Uh, this is close. I, and I'm not exactly sure. I think it's like a number five. I'm actually looking into buying some blades, like just single blades by themselves or like a three pack with some big like number six, number seven blades. Um, maybe just number six. Number sevens are giant. But that's a good looking spinner bait. Um, like I said, Boyd Ducket Series, Tackle Warehouse, $4.99. Good looking spinner bait there. Um, the skirt's a little thin to me. But I really like the head, the head on there. It's got the little, you know, that pattern. I don't know what, what you call it. It's like a carbon, like a carbon head or a carbon design. Um, the skirt's a little bit thinner than I like, like I said, and it's a little bit longer. The Strike King Premier that I had had the same thing. I'll probably honestly whack that off just a little bit like that. And, uh maybe even even it up there with the with the with the blade and then if I want to use a a trailer on it I'll feel better in that and feel better with the trailer than the than the extra long skirt because I feel like they might come up and miss the hook if the, if you got too much there but I don't know anyway I got two of those and then I got two that had the larger silver blade and the smaller gold and then they're white and chartreuse. And I like the yellow head on it a little bit better. And this one doesn't have the carbon 
that little carbon design on it. But I like it. I like how it's nice and wide where if you're slow rolling it or something, it's going to stay upright, it looks like. And, uh, I mean, it's just a good looking spinner bait right there. Pretty full. You know, it's pretty full the way it's uh, coming over this little keeper thing or whatever they have there. It's like a rubber piece. I don't know if you can see it. But there's a rubber piece in there that's kind of holding it to get to... Might be easier to see on this other one. There's a rubber piece in there that's holding the skirt together. It's kind of cool. And it kind of makes it come out a little bit better over the top of it. And you know, you buy cheap spinner baits and the spinner bait the skirt's coming off of it and you gotta put the skirt back on the little rubber band and you know, I buy a lot of the dollar spinner baits at Walmart and it pays to not be messing around with stupid problems and, and to just buy a nice, you know, five dollar spinner bait that uh, you're not gonna have the problems with. But really happy with these. Um I'll let you know how they work. I'm sure we'll catch some fish on those and in the next uh, few months. And I also, I got, so four spinner baits, that's almost half of what we got. Um, those were 15, or those were $20 for those four. And then uh, these MEPS uh, spinners are just amazing. This is the number five blade. I'm not sure if you can see it there or not. Trying to get it where you can see the number five, but um, they said chartreuse. It's a little more. I'm colorblind, but it looks a little more green to me than my typical. You know, here's there's chartreuse to me. You know, the light, and then that's a little more. They're close, but this is a little bit darker, more towards the green side. And I got two of those, so I took one out of the box so you can get a little bit better better look at it there. But there's your big number five blade. Um, the green, I'm not, I'm not super sure. I mean, like I said, I usually do the little more yellow. See, there's yellow on this body, so there's quite a bit of difference between that and the, and that may actually be more of orange, I guess. That's orange, and then you got red on this side. Um, but I'm sure it'll catch fish. The blade on these. That number five blade for me. Um, our Walmart, you go in there and try to find a MEP spinner, you're gonna find number three is the biggest they have, which, you know, you're gonna have bluegill and everything else trying to hit that thing. You're not gonna know what you got. So I went and bought, I didn't get this with the with this $50 set, but um, here's my money one. You know, there's the, that's the one that's money for me. So I wanted to get a little something different with the green or chartreuse and, uh, but this gold blade number five with the brown tail, I call it squirrel tail, Aglia. I mean, those things are amazing. They're, they say they're for musky. Um, they're for big bass too. I've got plenty of 19, 20 inch bass this year on those. So I'm excited about those. I got two of those, uh, the green chartreuse maps. And then uh, something I've always wanted to try that I've never had, you know, I use flukes a lot. Um, and I use spinner baits a lot. Um, use a lot of soft plastics, stuff like that. I'm not really experienced at all with swim baits other than, other than flukes. So, um, I've watched a few videos on underspins. They talk about it on uh, tactical bass a lot. And so they had some of these on sale. They're Cumberland Pro Lures. Um, these are the three eighths ounce. So these are a little bit smaller. I got one pack of the three eighths ounce and they're, they're really nice looking. Um, be good with probably a, I don't know if you can get a great look at that. Um, but they'll be real nice. Let me take one out of the package here. Oops. They'll be real nice with probably a, these are the smaller ones. These are the bigger ones, the three eighths. The other ones I got are a quarter ounce. So, these, I think, I mean, that's nice right there. This is going to be great with uh, Magnum Super Fluke. Um, it's a, this is a pretty good size head. This is about the same as those uh, big heads on the, on the spinner base, which are pretty hefty. 
but uh, I've got a Magnum, some Magnum flukes that I bought last year that are, I think, six inch. They're, yeah, they're probably six inch. So I just like the idea of, it's kind of like the spinner baits I use, and then you throw a fluke on it, and you got the best of both worlds. You know, you got the flash, um, you can reel it in, up in the water column, that big fluke's gonna, you know, float. So you can work it slow and still be in the upper part of the water column, or you could just let it sink down with that heavier head. And, you know, in this early spring or, you know, even through the winter, you can uh, just let it work down low, reeling in as slow as you can and just letting it do its thing, you know? And I, I it seems like something that'd be really good. If I was a fish, I wouldn't let it go by without uh, nailing it, but kind of excited about that. And then here's the, uh, here's the quarter ounce ones. Um, Sampo ball bearing swivels made in the USA. They're, they got, uh, the Gamakatsu hooks on them. So they're nice and sharp. Um, and these are just a little bit smaller. I'd take one out, but it's just the same as the other one. Um, but on the smaller ones, it's the same thing, but I'll, I'll put a, um, probably a four inch fluke on it. Um, the the ones that have the little bit wider body with like a split in the bottom of them will be will be perfect on that um and you know that'd be something to definitely give a give a shot and i think you know when it warms up too it's just something you can fire out as soon as it hits you start reeling too and you're gonna you're gonna catch a lot of fish just like you would on a spinner bait so i'm excited about those um and that's eight of the baits we got for 55 dollars. i feel like i got a great deal um, the last one is the live target swim bait I was talking to you about at the beginning. Um, it's a trout and it's 7.5 inch. Here's the, uh, here it is. Look at that bad boy. 7.5 inch and I mean, it looks great. Live target 7.5. It's got a giant hook at the top and it has the fin there. That's kind of a weed guard for you. And then if you want to put a stinger hook down at the bottom, a little trouble hook or something, um, you can do that as well. Um, a lot of, especially early in the year, I'm going to take this out of, out of the package here, but especially early in the year, um, you know, I'm going to be working it and just let it sink to the bottom. And then I'm just going to be slow cranking as slow as I can. And, um, you know, it's, it's got the nice, nice body where it'll stay. Stay upright and see if I can get it out of here. And you just slow, slow crank it and you don't want the treble hook on the bottom because if you have the treble hook on the bottom, you know, then you're going to get it hung up and, you know, thankfully it's not a 50 or $60 Huddleston, you know, it's a, it was a great deal. It was, it's a $6.99 uh, see, and look, it's, it's floppy and it's, it's super soft. I got another swim bait that, uh, small little bluegill the other day and it stinks really bad. This one's not near as bad. Um, but I mean that, I mean, just holding it, it looks like a real fish and you can't tell me a big bass, if you're reeling that, you know, through its territory that they're not going to come up and just destroy that thing. But that thing is, I'm excited as heck about this. Um, you know, and I think something I've seen too is I could take, yeah, these, these little underspins on here on, on these Cumberland baits, they come off. They got a swivel on or a uh, split ring on them. So, and here's the bigger one. So that's not a huge blade there, but I could take that off and put it on the bottom for a little bit of flash. You know, maybe just a little something that, that gets that fish excited to where instead of letting it pass by, you know, he's just gonna try to make it a meal. But I am so excited about this thing. You know, for watching videos about swim baits and, you know, seeing the big fish that they catch, you know, they're. The guys on Tactical Bassin, they say, you know, you want to catch the biggest fish in your 
pond or lake, wherever you're fishing at, you know, here's what you do. You get you a big old swim bait, you throw that thing out and you let it sink to the bottom and then you just slow reel that thing along the bottom and it'll, you know, dig a little bit maybe and just be working and they're just gonna eat it. So, you know, super soft bait. Um, that's, that's pretty soft there, but it's just firm enough where it's really gonna, you know, uh, make this weedless here, gonna protect that hook and that hook's giant. But they come up and they'll, they'll eat it, for, they always eat from the head, so they'll eat it from the head or they'll just suck it in and it'll collapse because it's so soft and then you got that big hook to let them have it. Um, and then like I said, when it warms up earlier, kind of like I was saying um, earlier, warms up a little bit and instead of slow rolling, like with the underspins, I was I think is what I was talking about. Instead of letting it sink and slow rolling it, warms up, you know, as soon as that thing hits, you just start using it like a spinner bait almost and maybe give it a couple of twitches every once in a while or something. And if it's got the underspin on there, they're gonna nail it. Um, but I think if you're gonna use a little more like a spinner bait, I think I'd rather have that stinger treble hook down here off the bottom and that's gonna help you catch, you know, get better hookup rates and stuff with it. But really super excited about that. Um, again, live live target swim bait, um, 7.5, 7.5 inch, three and a quarter ounces. So that's something I'm gonna have to play, play around with too is making sure that my medium heavy rods are gonna be able to handle this thing. Um, it doesn't feel crazy, but you know, that is that is a lot of weight. So, we'll see. I might need to get a, a heavy action rod or a little bit stiffer, medium heavy for it. But just super excited about that. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys everything. I mean, $55, I mean, you could easily spend that on a swim bait. And, you know, in, instead of just getting a swim bait, I got a swim bait for $6.99 um, for, the, for the underspins. Two of them with a little bit, uh, with quarter ounce, two with three eighths. So if I wanna have them lower in the water column, I can, or you know, with a bigger, the Magnum fluke on it. Um, super excited about trying those out. Um, love, I mean, one of my favorite lures, the MEPS. You know, if I, I'm gonna have that wherever I go. This was the first year where I found, you know, I, I always do good with the number three MEPS and I thought, you know what? I want a I want a big one, and I saw them on Amazon. And number five, I think, is as big as they make. It's for musky. So I was like, I'm gonna get one. I don't care. I mean, the bass are gonna eat it. It's got a nice big blade on it, and you can't tell me they're not gonna eat it. And I caught a lot of nice fish on that this year, and I'm really excited about it. Um, I posted a couple things on my Instagram account, you know, with those and with some fish that I caught, and it's just super great. And I know these are going to be just as good with the with the silver blade um, and the chartreuse, and I'm really excited about those those two. And it's it's uh, it's going to be a good be a good year. I haven't caught my first fish of the year yet, but uh, it won't be long. It won't be long. I tried today on my lunch break for uh, probably 30 minutes, and the water was a little murky from some rain, I guess, the other day or something. I don't, you know, I. I don't even remember it raining, honestly, but um, but it was murky, and today was a little bit better, and, you know, I thought I might get lucky and snag into something, but uh, I tried a Ned rig and uh, a jig for a little bit and couldn't get anything. I ran into a guy that uh, one of my buddies used to live next door to, and I talked to him for a little bit and then went back to work, so um, I'll, something else I just got was my uh, chest harness for my camera. So I'm excited about getting that out and being able to make some videos and show you guys, you know, some live action out in the, out of the creek and ponds and lake. And uh, so pretty excited to get going this year. Well, appreciate you guys watching and, uh, you know, click uh, like, subscribe on there if you would, appreciate that. And follow me on Instagram, Predator Bass Fishing. Got some uh, cool.
cool pictures on there and, and a few little videos too. So appreciate you guys. Have a great day. Thanks for watching again.